Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome to XCOM Enemy Within. In the wake of the uh, release of XCOM 2, I've decided to do uh, something a bit special. I'm gonna attempt it anyway. I'm gonna try to complete a run of XCOM Enemy Within with only female soldiers. Which means that every time I get a male soldier, I either do not use him or just plainly dismiss him. Uh, to that end, the beginning will be a bit different than you might have seen in other XCOM playthroughs in which I'll uh, attempt the first mission a few times until I get a squad of mostly female soldiers. Uh, I hope to aim at uh, at least a team of three, uh, hopefully four, but that will uh, need to be seen. So, hopefully I'll see you in a second. Maybe I'll go through the uh, settings, but play on classic. I don't think I'm gonna do it on impossible, it will be uh, well very hard to do that. Um, as advanced options, we're gonna disable the tutorials, activate both operations, activate Iron Man, which does not allow me to reload earlier saves, and uh, that adds another layer of challenge since I can't reload if I fuck something up. So let's enable Iron Man, and we're gonna reduce the beginner voiceover to. Uh, well, ignore most of the tutorial messages and, for example, the ones about explosives when using using them for killing aliens. And then the second wave options, we've got damage roulette, which uh, gives the weapons a much wider range of damage. I'm not going to use that since I want to be pretty sure about how much damage I'm going to dish out. New economy is also something that I do not want since I want the uh, funding to be something I can count on. Not created equally is something I will use in hopes of uh, having female soldiers that will uh, have nice starting stats. Hidden potential as well, so their stats will increase randomly. Training roulette is also very interesting. I'm gonna do it. Um, I had some bad experiences, I had some good experience, and I hope I'll get some soldiers that have a really nice training tree. So there we go. Save scum is irrelevant since we're playing on the Iron Man, which it would allow you to uh, reload the save game. That would give a different outcome even if you would do the, the, the same actions. And aiming angles is something I'm gonna enable, which will um, give a aim bonus to any units um, flanking an enemy. So the closer they are to flanking, the higher the aim bonus. That goes for uh, my soldiers as well as the enemies. So uh, that's the setup. So I'll see you in a second, I hope, with mostly female soldiers. I'm gonna call this a Valkyrie playthrough because of the achievement that's in the game. Um, I think it's Flight of the Valkyries where you need to uh, complete the mission with a full female squad. And I'm gonna call it, therefore, the Valkyrie playthrough. So see you in a second. So the alien abductions begin. I'm gonna let it run since it's such an awesome cinematic. It gives me goosebumps every time uh, it starts off. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, 
This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Fucking awesome. So yeah, base location. I have the tendency to start in Africa, which gives us a 30% increase in our monthly funding. Also the starting amount of credits, dollars, whatever you're gonna call it, or that we start with. So I think I'm gonna stay with that. Um, there are a few other interesting ones, but I'm gonna go with Africa for the all-in continent bonus. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage Stacey, all hostile Emily contacts in the AO. Tina. Don't take any chances. So, we've ended up with a team of three women. I wonder if I want to take the chance to try for another role. So, Tina has 70. Stacy has 80. And Emily 70. I'm gonna try this run. Um, so what this means is I'm, done, I'm not gonna use Barrett Kohler here. I'm only gonna use Stacy, Emily and Tina. So let's put those where we can and get on with it shall I'm we? On the move. Let's try and find some nice cover for these women, for these Moving. girls. Visual on the goods. So we have visual on meld. No need to ask twice. Which is something I am going to want to collect. So you always get ignored. I'm gonna put you right here in the back behind the car. And duck down because I'm not gonna use you. So, as usual, we have sectoids in the area. I'm gonna see if I can't... Rolling. Look sharp. Enemies yeah, there up. we go. Three of them. Great start. And there seems to be one that I can flank. Yeah. Heading there now. I'll put her here. Yeah, there we go. And that's an 80% shot, so we're gonna take that. And there we go, the first kill of the playthrough. Great news, great news. Um, then... I'm gonna try... Heading there now. I'll put Tina a bit further. And hopefully... We can get the drop of them on them from here. Sorry, Kohler, you need to hunker down. And an overwatch again. Okay, that's one mind mount. So there's only one of them that will be able to shoot. There he goes. Missed. No biggie, because we can't see him. But we will be able to flank him. Which is very good news. But let's see. Where is this coming from? From behind this thing. We're not gonna be able to get there, are we? So, again as we're before. I'm gonna flank him. Okay. He's not in Overwatch, we've seen that. And that's a 92% shot. 
We can only do four damage, so. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. We could have come short there, but we didn't. I'm gonna try if I get a bit closer. Yeah, there we go. 60% shot. I'm gonna try and take that. I'm gonna try to come even closer in the hopes that I don't trigger anything. Okay, so we got a 50% shot and a 60% shot. I can get a grenade over there. So, uh. Here's hoping. Oh man, these shots are landing. These girls are doing, doing their job. Woo! Okay, there's the next batch. One Overwatch shot, probably gonna miss, yeah. We always have a name penalty on uh, Overwatch so shots. Jesus, can't talk anymore. But, there's uh, some pretty good news there. Because, we can hit those with a grenade. Gonna put one up here. There we go. I'm gonna get her closer to the melt so we can get that if we need to. She has a shot on two of them. But her... I think if I get her closer... That I can... I'm on it, Commander. Get a really nice grenade in. So that's three of them. I wonder if I can get all three of them in the same... Yeah, I can. Oh, snap. Yeah, we're gonna take that. They always say that you need to be careful with explosions, but that was fucking awesome. Good work out there, Strike Good work, if Tina the and the girls. So, the first mission completed. Pilot. And when we return to base, we will have three... No longer rookies, I believe. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Nice landing animation. I'm gonna skip that later on, but Welcome to I'm gonna Ask let them do the Commander. talking. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which. We have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thank you, Bradford. And zoom to the entire base. So now we've come to the base managing... An exemplary bit. performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. So, we're missing a heavy, but the ones we get are pretty nice. Because the sniper is probably the one with the anti-aim, I presume? Commander to the research oh, no. labs. It's one of the 70s. The so we get the uh, headshot, which allows us uh, a plus 30% extra critical chance and extra damage on critical hits based on the sniper's rank. And we got a support, which can uh, throw smoke grenades, and that's the one with the AT aim, which is awesome. I think it's the highest you can get on a random drop. And then the assault, an assault lab. with 74. Would be a shame to use a shotgun on that. So, sniper support assault. We're gonna need a heavy in the future. But the recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna head to the research lab because we can uh, perform research on four subjects, which we're gonna make a decision in in a second. So research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. And she is We have German. already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. And that we will. Because first, research is always a bit 
of a, a difficult decision, but I usually go with weapon fragments because I, uh, I like the scopes to get the rookies in the tip-top shape, so let's start at weapon I agree. fragments. I that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. And I, I will, will notify head. you when a complete report is available. Thank you, Valen. Commander to engineering. And then we head to engineering. Ah, Commander. Where Dr. Shen is with him. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. So the first thing we can do is either build a med kit or build a few satellites. Satellites are something we're going to need as soon as possible, uh, preferably two. But I'm going to wait until I have a few more engineers since we have only have five now and the price, the cost of every item in engineering is based on the amount of engineers we have. Uh, I'm even going to wait with med kits since we'll probably not be needing that for now. I'm going to check out the facilities though. Oh wow! We are extremely lucky. Commander we have steam immediately available. Control. So I'm gonna build. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build an access lift and then excavate this immediately after the access uh, lift is ready. That should allow us to make a steam generator here. I'm gonna check. And the satellite uplink only requires 5 power, so we're going to be able to do that simultaneously with building the thermo generator. Awesome! I'm going to excavate this as well, just in case we need some space. Uh, and I'm going to check out our soldiers, of course. So, I think we're in pretty good shape. So we got Barrett Kohler, can't use him. Commander to mission control. Sadly, because he has 80 aim, but dismiss. Sorry, Barrett. Ping Pang. Is that a man or a woman? Woman! Great! Then Chen. 60 aim. Sorry, can't use you. Janet. That's a woman, I presume. Oh, 55 aim. That's too bad, but... I'm gonna make do with what we have. Nick. 60 aim. Sorry, Nick. And then Hector. Commander to mission control. Sorry, Hector. Cynthia. 75. Nice. Cynthia Roberts. Okay. Chiyoko Tanaka. 70 aim. Also super. And then Alexandra. 70 aim as well. Which is pretty nice. So we have... Let me count here for a second. 1, 2, 3, 8 female soldiers to start with. Which is not bad, actually. We could have... A lot worse. I'm gonna hire Command a few extra. We're gonna control. start with two because I'm gonna need the funds control. later on. So hire those. Then uh, the hangar situation should be fine. I think we have two ravens, which is good for now. Um, and then we go to mission control and start scanning for new stuff. Yeah, there are the new soldiers. I'm gonna check them out immediately. Hopefully, oh, that's two guys, isn't it? That's two guys. That's 30 credits down the train. Sorry, guys. Goodbye. Okay. I'm gonna have to check if dismissing them is actually worse since the chance of getting a woman decreases if I have all women in the squad. I'm gonna have to check that. But, back to mission control. And then we're gonna get our next mission, probably. Yeah, there we go. Commander, a few abduction sites. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the Hollow Globe. So I usually go for engineers first. Um, although the 200 is also very appealing. Hmm. I think I save about 50 credits already if I get the extra engineers. So I think I'm going to go for Australia first, because it'll make the uh, satellites a lot cheaper. So, next time, I'm going to get these ladies into tip-top shape and get them to uh, clear out the abduction site in 
what did, I, what did I pick? Australia, I think. Yeah, Australia. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.